Um, so I'll make my presentation about obtaining an ATV safety card. Every year in the state of Oregon, there is multiple ATV fatalities due to not having proper training or acknowledgement of risk when driving ATVs, dirt bikes, or side by sides. And it's just, it's, it's bad. People get hurt. It's a very dangerous sport. And you're not really looking forward to get hurt when you're doing something like that. So last year when my family and I went to the mountains, um, we witnessed a life-changing incident. And it was a young adult who flipped his quad going up a hill. And we just, it was the worst thing to watch because you kind of hear, it's kind of like in slow motion. And the guy was going up a hill and he flipped over. And the quad rolled with him, rolled with him, rolled with him until it just stopped. And it landed right on top of him. And watching someone in agonizing pain, is, it's just not fun. It's not pleasant to see. And it's just, it's, it's a shocker. Um, we were just staring at the guy and just staring at like that whole scene because it was just, it was just there. And we were just completely shook. So now when we go to the mountains with my family, um, we do things a little different. Um, we take things easier. We don't drive past our limits. We know what we're capable of, and we make sure we're not going too hard on things when we shouldn't. And that event really helped us open our eyes and how we can prevent from that happening to us, to one of our loved ones. But what else also helped was the ATV safety card. Now, the ATV safety card is mandatory in most states, but it isn't if you're driving private land and just things like that, but if you're driving publicly, you have to have an ATV safety card. But I think if you're gonna drive an ATV side-by-side, -side, dirt bike, anything motorized that's not a car, I think you should obtain this card. I think it's important. I believe things are dangerous, just bikes are dangerous to be driving around and you can get seriously hurt. And I know people like me, for sure, I said this too when I had to get mine, um, it's boring. So it's just like a two hour class session. It's boring. It is boring. And I know people say it's not the greatest thing to do on a Saturday afternoon or like a Thursday after work, you know, but what people fail to see is that you're not, you're being a liability from not knowing what you're doing. And I know some guys drive on private land and there's a whole just, a lot of things you can do without obtaining this card but I think it's important that you get it um, you owe it to your family to yourself to stay safe and I think it's a dumb excuse that you don't need one to not get one so I really recommend you obtain one uh, biggest reason is you learn how to maintain your ATV how to get a better grasp of controlling it also just small little details as in going over rocks, going through a stream of water, going up a hill, just like small little details to like hint on what you can or cannot do. So maybe you are a more experienced rider without one, but maybe you should go get the card, maybe learn a thing or two, maybe get some review on it and be better off. Now I'm gonna hit you with some numbers, all right? From 2006 to 2008, fatalities were twice as high compared to 2000 to 2005. So what a number was 29, went up to 60. So for every two years, for example, 204 to 206, that would be an example, it would be normally like 29 deaths, 28, 25, 10 a year average, went up to 60 in just two years. And this is because the popularity grew of ATV riding, mountains, sand dunes, and there's more people, more risk more just more everything right so higher numbers increase fatalities increase injuries blah 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 so did you pass it so <laughs> yeah um yeah it's it's important right it's important and as i watch someone else get hurt instead maybe it was a loved one that of mine got hurt for example my father could have got hurt my sister, my aunt, my uncle, and this safety card can help us prevent all that. Going for you too as well, right? 
Second thing I want to know, um, it's all preventable. All these things can be preventable. Just learning about things or, like a thing or two. Obviously, we don't go to the mountains trying to get hurt. So it's all preventable and just take the safety car test and it will help. Something else I want to know is when you're riding with others. I have this thing where I don't trust people. So when there's someone riding behind me, I'll ask them to go in front of me or keep their distance. Because I don't, I don't trust people. I don't want to get hurt. I'm a little... I don't want to get hurt, alright? It makes sense. I don't want to get hurt, alright? So, when someone else doesn't take that car test and I know about it, I'm just like, yeah, I'm a little skeptical about riding with this guy. And, obviously, it makes me more comfortable that he's safe, let alone making me safe. If you don't have a card, and it's obviously legal not to have a card in public lands or ATV riding, I don't feel safe when you're next to me, when you're going up a hill. I do not feel safe. So I think it's also important that a safety ATV card is important to make others around you feel just as safe and be ready to welcome you because you are knowledgeable of all the risks. And I think the biggest one I want to talk about is family. Like, I'm really a family guy. I like to go with my family to do things like dinner, blah, blah, blah. The, the list goes on. But... You're important. You are important to someone. Not me, because I don't know you. But you are important to someone. So if you think that, hey, whatever, if I get hurt, I get hurt. Don't take that nonsense. It's dumb. It's really, really dumb. Don't do dumb things. People care about you. And I think it's important that you understand that going to an ATV ride and getting hurt or doing something because, oh, it's fun and you don't care if you get hurt. Think twice. It's it's important. You're important. You should really consider others, not just yourselves. Stop being selfish. And consider that people love you and people want to see you safe. So just make sure your, you know, family, loved ones, especially loved ones. Um, you don't want to see your aunt getting hurt. You don't really want to see anyone getting hurt. It's really traumatizing. Again, I saw someone get hurt very badly and it's just... It's not fun to watch. Watching that guy in agonizing pain again. His family, is just, his family, his, like, his, his own kids, his own little kids probably traumatized now. For all I don't know. Just watching his father, like, in agonizing pain. You don't want that. Obviously, we want to take care of each other. Yeah, I'm sick. So, take care of each other. Um, people are left in bad shape for not knowing what's going on. So, due to the circumstances, people are left, obviously. Um. Being informed how to ride off-road vehicles, you should really consider taking that test. You may not need it. Again, you might think it's a waste of time. Maybe you think you know what you're doing. I can ensure you will learn something environmental or by your ATV, your off-road vehicle. I got allergies. I'm sorry. So just take it. All right. If you ride an ATV, hit me up on Half Time 2. So, although you might not need one because of your situation, please get one. I think it's very important. Stay safe because I would rather go on a trip with you to the mountains, to the sand dunes, or whatever. I'm down for whatever than attend your funeral. Cringy, maybe, but I think it's important. Get your safety card test for safety for others. And it's just an overall good thing to do. So, I hope you consider getting one. If you do drive AT ATVs, off-road vehicles, etc. And if you don't have one, I recommend you get into it. It's pretty fun. And it's just, it's good stuff to hang out with friends and family in the mountains. Just a really good nature vibe. Really recommend it. So, thank you for listening. I really appreciate it. A little nervous. And get your card. Have a good day.